the Sports Vote Campaign Podcast. Invest in sports. Hello and welcome back. Today is Sunday, May 29, 2022, and this is It All Began in the 70s, Season 3, Episode 24, Leaving for Costa Rica. In the late 1990s, a couple things happened in my life kind of simultaneously. Well, one one happened before the other. I had my first divorce. Yes, there's been two of them. Um, My first divorce marriage was much shorter to my um, youthful girlfriend. Very long story, not important here. But um, that kind of precipitated me not wanting to be in the computer business anymore. Uh, Actually, I just wasn't motivated to do much of anything um, other than just the bare necessities. So I put the business up for sale. The guy that bought the business um, was not able to get an SBA loan. Interesting that that was the first time I'd even heard of the SBA. This was in, I think, 1997, 98, somewhere in that range. And uh, he wasn't able to get the loan. I didn't really think too much about maybe what the reasons might have been. He asked me um, if I would carry back the loan to to um, <clears throat> allow him to buy the business, basically owner financing, which I um, agreed to with my partner. And so we did that, and the guy made a couple payments and then defaulted. I had to take him to court. It was a big mess. Um, ended up settling it out of court, but for he got the business for basically nothing. So this was a bunch of... Um, for me, it was just really... I didn't care too much about the loss of the money, but just kind of the loss in the faith in the American dream, so to speak. So I had a customer that had been buying computers from me for a long time <clears throat> and having them sent down to Costa Rica. And he asked me if um, he knew that I was not uh, married anymore. And he also knew that I was not in that computer business anymore and wondered if I would want to go down there and help him start up a sports book. Now, I didn't, I didn't know what a sports book was. Didn't know what the term meant, never placed a bet on sports in my life, still haven't. And uh, But, you know, business is a business is a business, so I said just give me the um, some kind of primer, you know, give me a book, point me in the right direction, let me see how it works, and, um, you know, maybe I'll do that. Be a new adventure, you know, living in another country and all of that. So, but I wouldn't have even been, that That really isn't the point of the story, That there's, that's for another episode, the whole... Um, explanation of seeing the inside of of the sports booking business and ultimately what led to the creation of ASM was that um, the the saying one thing leads to another is definitely my storyline here as well I you know would have never thought I would be in such a business and then when I saw from the inside that uh, morally for me resulted in a break that ultimately the idea for ASM came along and and that's where it sprung from but the real point I want to make here is that uh, life is messy, and anybody who tries to paint some kind of picture that, um, and especially with social media, I think it's brought out the worst in humanity in that aspect, and everybody tries to put on a presentation uh, that isn't realistic. Um, having been in Hollywood for a while, I, <laughs> you know, what you see in in the presentation and what what's there before the hair and makeup is quite a different story. Um, you know, people put on a show. Now everybody puts on a show. My life is perfect. Everything is perfect. I've always done everything right. I, you know, I never make a mistake. That's all a bunch of hogwash. It's nonsense. Uh, nobody gets through this life like that. So <clears throat> I kind of had lost faith in the, you know, quote unquote American dream there at the end of the 90s. And nothing I've seen since then has made it any better. That's for sure. Um, frankly, I think. I think that whole marketing uh, scheme is a, is just that. It's a scheme. Um, it's not obtainable for most people, and what they think is the American dream is being in debt up to their eyeballs for things that they don't really need and trying to pretend like those things are making them happy. Um, I think we all have uh, either been through that or are going through that um, experience of trying to purchase your way into happiness and um, I'd love for somebody to tell me exactly what that thing is that you can buy that will do the trick because I've certainly done my share of it um, and it, it never worked. So I don't know how it works for anybody. So anyway, leaving 
leaving the U.S., leaving Arizona to go to Costa Rica was really um, kind of my way of washing my hands of the American dream and saying, oh, okay, well, let's do something new in a, you know, in, in a in a new country and, and whatever this sports book thing is, I'll figure it out. But th I didn't really care too much about that and all this talk about getting rich and all that. I was just looking for a new adventure and frankly just burned out at the age of 29 of the uh, of the whole shtick, the whole, you know, go, go, go American dream thing. I just thought the whole thing was a fraud. I never could, in spite of having done all these things, and, and as I said in prior podcasts, bought almost probably 100 cars now, more than 100 cars, doing all these things. I'm like, okay, so which one of, you know, what point does this, when do you arrive, I guess, this was my question. <laughs> When when is the day that you you say oh I made it you know and this is it and um, it lasts more than five minutes. So anyway, that's it for uh, today. Thank you for your time. I will speak with you again in two weeks. Bye now.